Morning everybody, hope you're well. Nick from 360 Big Sky Media, here on another shoot. So quite a few people have asked how we plan a shoot and how we do everything. So what I thought I'd do is show you while we're here, we're gonna shoot this property anyway, which is a really nice two bedroom Airbnb cottage. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna shoot this property and um, you're gonna see the process. People were talking about the placement of the 360 camera when I'm on site. I tend to take one shot per room. So at the moment we're in this living room and what I'll tend to do is because the kitchen is here that you can't see, but I will show you, we go down the kitchen and the bathroom and a yard. I would tend to shoot, there's a little dining room table behind us, but I would tend to shoot one photograph in here and then a staircase upstairs. At the front we have a big bedroom which has got mirrored wardrobes which are, you know, you'll learn are the bane of everybody's life. And um, We have the front entrance here but that's the only mirrored area that I can see which is great. Um, first thing I do is I go around and I turn every light on. You'll see that every light's on and we've got a mix of colours, white colours in here. Um, because the Trizio doesn't offer us a white balance option and it shoots in JPEG, I find that by putting the lights on we can kind of neutralise where we are. This is a pretty easy property to shoot. The walls are predominantly white, the ceiling's predominantly white, the floors are, are a little bit different coloured, hardwood, we've got a nice rich oak, and then we've got a beach, and then into the kitchen and, the, and everywhere else, we've got um, neutral carpets or tiles. But there's lots of natural light as well. So it should turn out lovely. So what I thought I'd do is I'd just show you the process and then we can go from there. So here we are at the front entrance. So what we'll do is we'll come in, we won't take an image here. So we'll take an image here, then we can go into the bedroom, we can go into the living room, dining room, and then from there we can get into the kitchen. So here we have the bedroom, it's huge. We'll take one shot in here, probably over there, but you'll see we've got huge mirrored wardrobes all the way down, so we are going to have to do some editing. And again, the colours in here are going to come out a little bit orange. So in post, we may have to do a little bit of work there. So this is our dining room, living room. We've got these nice couches, a lovely French door there, and a staircase leading up. So again, what we'll do is we'll probably do one shot there, and then one shot here where it leads off into the kitchen which I'll show you next. So here we are in the kitchen. The kitchen is a galley kitchen, really easy to shoot. We'll just put one image here. Then we go into a small backyard with wonderful lights and then into a bathroom. So again, we'll have one image there, one image there. So downstairs, if you work that out, downstairs we've done seven images. Then all we need to do is we've got one bedroom upstairs, which we can shoot as well. And there we done. We've finished shooting the property. Um, I don't know whether you'll be able to see this on my phone, but I'll come forward and try and show you it. The first image we took was in here at 11.26am, and the last image we took was upstairs at 11.39am, so that's 13 minutes. Um, I took an extra image in the bathroom, an extra image in the living room, and an extra image in the, in the bedroom. I don't know if you can see them. So, we've took... 3, 6, 9, 12, 13 images, and we've took those images, as I say, the first one was at 11.26, the second one was 11.39. So it's about one minute per image, um, and this probably is done. So what I do now, people ask me what I do, um, all these images are downloaded into the app. What I can then do is use the Wi-Fi here while I'm just packing away and upload all of those images to Google. And then when I get in the house, I can start editing. Um, just got a couple of quick things to do. The, the client has asked me to do. Um, this room's just been redecorated this weekend, which is why he's booked me for the tour. So what we're going to do is you're just going to take a couple of quick flambian shots for him. A uh, little bit of an add-on. It's like it's like I said to somebody the other day, if you can do more than virtual tours, you'll always be busy. If you just do virtual tours, you're relying on people picking the phone up. As much as the Trizio and all the other cameras are great, add more to your locker. Um, I do interior flambian shots, I do drone shots, etc. So that's what we're going to do now. So we'll see you back at home. Right, everybody, we are back home. Um, it's now the next day because I got sidetracked, but however, here we are. So um, just to answer a couple of quick questions that people have mentioned in the forum, 
one person mentioned about the um, use of labeling different rooms when you use the Trizio camera and how that information was baked in. If you use the Trizio desktop app, when you get back, you'll find that all of your files that you've labeled bedroom, bathroom, dining room, etc., etc., will be labeled that. So if I just go into the folder for the files that I've just imported, um, you'll see that the one I didn't label is just called image, but all the other ones have got the tags on that I said. So what we're going to do is we're going to import them into Lightroom and we're going to do the quickest of edits we can possibly do because that's what we need to do. I'm going to go into develop and I've set a preset here which is called final bump and I don't know whether you'll see but when I press final bump it just does a little bit of work to the exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, blacks and that's it. That's, that's kind of me done. So because I've got that, all I'm going to do is just press sync and I'm going to turn off color grading, detail and all I want to do is just do this very, very quick edit, which is what I've done there now. And that's because I've set this preset up. Then I'm going to edit these images. You've seen me do this before. I'm only going to show you the first one. I'm going to edit them inside of um, Affinity Photo um, so we can get rid of the nadir. I'm just going to wait for Affinity Photo to boot up and what it'll do is it'll import those 10 images. We only actually need nine, but it'll import 10 images into uh, Affinity Photo and you can see, there we are, we're done. And it is as simple as, I'm gonna show you again, we go to Layer, Live Projection, Equi Rectangular Projection, scroll down to the bottom, you'll see our tripod, then I'm gonna go where this little band-aid is and I'm going to go to the in-painting brush and I'm going to use my bracket key and just make that a little bit bigger and then all I'm going to do is paint that and then when I've done that which takes this is all in real time you can see it's it's done an okay job but we can just tidy it up ever so slightly and all I'm doing here is just clicking left once we're happy with that live projection remove live projection and then if we press save and then go back to Lightroom, you will find that our updated image will be in there when it is imported back in. So again, hallway, very, very simple. Live projection, equi rectangular projection, grab our brush and get rid of the tripod. And that's it. And you can see that's done a fabulous job. And what we'll do is. Add... So just want to show you on this image, we have a shadow from our monopod. I'm just going to use the clone stamp tool again, just increase the size. We press the alt button to pick a piece of wall. And then it is a case of very, very quickly and maybe taking a little bit more time than I did. Move your, uh, your, your, your piece of wall round just to get rid of that. And then again, edit live projection will allow me to move up and down. You can see there's a little bit there that needs getting rid of. So again, alt. And we've got rid of that layer. Remove live projection. We're done. And again, quickly show you in this image, you'll see as, as much as we tried to move the Trizio out of the way, we do show up. Again, very, very simple. We just use our clone tool again, make our brush nice and small, and then just paint that edge in. It will have a little bit of a, sh a shadow on, but remember what we're doing here. This is a quick virtual tour that we're doing for a whole, uh, for an Airbnb. And then again, layer, live projection, remove live projection. So when we remove our live projection, we can see that it's pretty much gone. And that will be good enough for the, the customer that we've got. And here we are. We are back in the Lightroom with our finished images. Um, we're just going to have a very, very quick look and make sure that everything's okay. 
these have turned out really well i've only got one slight issue that i don't know how i feel about and that's in the hallway this is kind of a you know it's not a white wall it's it's kind of an off-white wall but on this image it looks very orange bouncing up off the um off the flooring again if it was a high-end job or a, a customer paying more money i would consider going in there making a copy in photoshop and just just desaturating that to a certain degree but with this one i'm not going to all that remains left to do is just export those images out so we're just going to export them we're going to set our quality to 100 percent and we've got nothing else ticked i'm going to unsharpen and i'm just going to press export and then if i go to my folder that we've just exported to you'll find that those 10 files are in there and this is our final product um, the loading screen is one of the flambian shots that the client asked me to take um, we have a link to their website which is there we have a link to where they are on google maps which is there and we have a phone number we have a play button we have a little pop-up which will come up and tell us about the property we'll be asked if we want audio um, I'm going to press no and this is our finished virtual tour so this is a tour that the customer has um, if we go into the bedroom we've got a couple of little information spots there we can go back and we can go into um, the lounge diner we can book direct and the customer's happy um, the customer's delighted just to summarize what i said we were on site for 13 minutes shooting this tour that's how long it took us to actually shoot the panoramas the editing you saw because i used my preset and export into affinity photo i was able to process these images in about 25 minutes and because i used the asses and i like the asses and know it inside out i was then able to deliver this product to the customer first thing this morning it was actually done yesterday but i delivered it first thing this morning uh, the people who were asking me where i put my monopod or tripod you can see as i said i shot one image in each room um so you can you can see them and that's it i hope this was helpful um i hope you enjoy it as much as i did to shoot it and we will see you in the next video what that video is i don't know yet you may have to tell me like comment subscribe get in touch tell me what more you want and i'm more than happy to do these when i have time um it's not a problem to shoot when i'm on site so have a great week and we'll speak soon see everybody bye